Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a very long time since I've been back on YouTube and I haven't done a beauty video in a very long time and it's now 2017. I don't even know what my last video was. I will probably find it after I film this video. I really want to create more looks for you guys, get my creativity out there. I really want to get to know you guys again. I really want to expand my beauty profile. Last year, 2016, I worked a lot. I am a working makeup artist and hairstylist so I do do a lot of clients and I do a lot of weddings, all that fun stuff but I really want to get back to the root of it all which is my creativity and getting that all out on camera and putting it out in the world so I hope you guys enjoy and follow me along this journey. Alright so today I am going to just get started with 6 Plus so I will be using the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit Cosmetics on my eyebrows. I recently ran out of my other one. The other one was number 5, but I recently went to Sephora and I wanted to try out a lighter brow color. I know my brows are on the darker side, but I sometimes like this hair and my brows to be a little bit lighter so it doesn't look like I'm so goth looking. My eyebrows are a little crazy. It's been a while since I've had them done, but I like the thicker eyebrow lately. In uh, 2016, I had a lot of great opportunities. I got to work with Carly Kloss um, last year on a really fun project where she came to the Bay Area and spoke with a lot of influential women in tech. And she's amazing. She's so sweet in person. I got to do that really early last year in 2016. Towards the end of this past year in 2016, I got to meet Aisha Curry. I love basketball. I love the Warriors. And it was just amazing because I, I work with Pop Sugar quite a lot. And they were nice enough to ask me to work with her. And that video was a live holiday gift guide for Pop Sugar. I got to do Carly Kloss, make, Kloss's makeup and Aisha Curry both in one year and that was just amazing because I never thought I would ever be able to meet those people. It's gonna take me so long to do my eyebrows. Ugh. Oh god, this talking and getting ready is so difficult. I had and a lot of things happened in January in that month. One being my sister moved back to California from New York. I love having her around. Um, we actually started a YouTube channel together which is called Lay Stories. So if you guys ever have time, go visit our other page. We just started, it's very new, but we're coming up with a lot of fun ideas and we have some really fun videos out there. Yeah, so other than my sister moving back to California, I now have this space where I can set up my studio and we are beginning to film a lot of videos in here and it, it's nice to have a space where everything is always going to be set up. All I have to do is, you know, fix a couple of things. But it's been nice to have a little space to myself. Yeah, other than this new space, my actual house is getting remodeled. Alright, so I'm going to take a little bit more of that concealer and put that onto my lid. Alright, so today I'm going to be using this beautiful Sweet Peach palette by Too Faced and I'm going to just take white peach on a fluffy brush to set my concealer. It smells so good already. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my hair color is a different color. I have been going to one of my closest friends for my hair color recently. I started going to her maybe in... I don't know, maybe like five, six months ago and we've been playing a lot with colors and she has taken me away from the blues, away from the cooler colors and taken me back to my purples. I love the purples. Um, it's been really fun. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you should follow me at Shannon Lay and you guys can see all the different colors that she's taken me through. It's been a lot of fun. I mean, I'm so excited every single time I see her because we always try something different. We always use different products. This color is using Joyco High Color Intensity or something like that. It's called, it's from Joyco. I have to do a peach look with this palette, right? Um, so we're just going to take that on the outer corner along. Make that into a transition shade. Sometimes it's hard to get a really nice peach color rather than, you know, like pink or orange. 
what this looks like. It's just right in between. So I will be coming out with a video pretty soon on my latest visit to Priscilla. Um, I will link her Instagram down below as well for you guys to check out her work. If you guys are in the Bay Area, she does amazing color and I would highly recommend her. I will be putting up a video next about my last visit to her salon where she did my hair color like this. And next I'm gonna be taking Summer Yum and I'm gonna be putting that into the crease. If you guys have any suggestions about what videos I should be filming next, I would love, I would love, love, love you guys to give me some ideas. Yeah, I would love to know like where you guys are from, what you guys do, why do you watch these videos, what else do you want to learn. And now I'm going to be taking Delectable, which is this purple. Let's just put that on the outer corner. A little bit. Ooh. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do a smoked line with this purple. I just put it on the on the liner and I feel like that'll look really pretty. So other exciting news about my life is that I am finally going to Europe. I booked a trip with my boyfriend and uh, another great couple and we are going to Europe in June. I've never been so I'm excited. I will most likely be vlogging that trip into a couple of different vlogs so that you guys can see what I did and all the fun places I went to. If you guys have any recommendations on what to eat, what to see, where to go, I think I'll be in Paris and France and Italy and Rome. And so if you guys have any suggestions for any places around there, I would love them. Next, I'm gonna take Luscious on a flatter shader brush. I'm just gonna pat that on. I'm in love with this palette so far. So I'm gonna go back into Summer Yum again and just deepen up this outer corner a little bit more. I'm kind of stupid. I probably should have done the eyeliner, the purple liner later, but that's okay. You know, sometimes things just come to you in the wrong order. This is why I like to do my eyeshadow first. It's just because sometimes I just really want to go ham on the blending and getting it darker. I didn't really have a plan coming into this, but I feel like the purple goes really well with my hair. I'm going to use the Amazonian Clay Tarte black waterproof liner and basically go over you know what I just did with the purple eyeshadow but for this look I'm just gonna take the eyeliner to the center of the eye kind of elongate the eye a little bit I used to go really heavy with the eyeliner and make it really thick and go all the way to the center but I found that lately I prefer you know a shorter line thinner line but more smoked out and like natural kind of and sometimes I even like to go without any eyeliner and just like tight line I feel like that's my thing lately and I've been you know trying to stay away from putting falsies on a lot I've used a lash grower on my eyelashes to just make them grow fuller and thicker because after wearing lashes so much you kind of pull out a lot of your eyelashes and I tried eyelash extensions last year for a little bit and that I feel like pulled out a lot of my eyelashes so you know I'm just trying to like grow them back and also for my nails I, I did acrylic nails all year last year and that really ruined my nails now my nails are so thin all right after that I'm gonna take delectable again on an angled liner brush and I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit Soften up that line. So I'm really excited to see all the newest trends for this year. I know last year's trends were, you know, like color correcting and I think I've recently seen the new trend for this year. I feel like it's been a lot of nude lipsticks. I saw Kat Von D come out with like a, her whole line and I love new lipsticks. I love nudes. I've grown to love not wearing a bold lip, you know, because sometimes wearing a bold lip gets really messy. I've recently seen the Korean like ice cold water makeup. Haven't tried it. I wonder if it really does work, you know? And Koreans, you know, they just come up with the craziest beauty hacks. For some reason, it ends up working for them because they have amazing skin. All right, eyes are done. 
So my all-time favorite foundation has got to be my Makeup Forever HD. For some reason, it works so well for my face. I have kind of a little bit oily skin right in the T-zone, um, but generally everywhere, everywhere else is normal. It stays all day for me. It's more of like a medium coverage. Another trend I haven't tried yet is the silicone, I don't know, like, I don't, applicator? Is that what it's called? The silicone applicator? I don't know who came up with that, but things are just getting so crazy. Who ever thought of like cutting up a chicken cutlet to use as an applicator? Like, did you just, not have your brushes one day or I have no idea. The next thing I'm gonna take my Tarte concealer again in medium honey and just use that right in the center. I actually recently fell in love with this concealer. I know like there's been so many people using this and I can see why. I always have a lot of like different favorite products but they were always changing and I love that. I love that companies come out with new products and their formulas are always different. It's very bad for my wallet though, I must say. All the money I work for always goes back into buying more makeup products. And I'm not mad about it. I love it. I love sharing new techniques with other people and making everyone look beautiful. Next for a little contour and bronze, I'm gonna be using the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. So I love this bronzer. It smells really good. It smells like candy. I don't know what kind of fragrance they put in it, but it always smells so good. I like to use this for like a natural bronze. So I just like to like take a little on my beauty blender, put it where it needs to be. Unfortunately, I'm not going anywhere after I do this. <laughs> I literally just wanted to sit down and film for you guys and get a video out there. Next, I'm gonna take this RCMA translucent powder and put that to set my concealer. I don't like to leave it on there too long, otherwise I start to look a little cakey. So next I'm gonna take the Benefit Highbrow and I'm actually gonna be using that in my waterline. Fluffy pencil brush and I'm gonna take that candied peach color again and run that underneath. And then let's deepen up that line again with Delectable. I'm gonna take a mix of Candied Peach and Summer Yum again and blend out Delectable. So in love, gorgeous. So today, I am gonna keep it pretty natural. This is definitely my favorite eyelash curler. This is the Surat. Surat? Surat? I don't know how you say it. Next, I'm gonna just tight line, top line with this NARS pencil. I think I'm gonna do something kind of fun today. I think I wanna do a purple mascara. So this is by NYX. So I'm gonna use this Lash Building Primer by Clinique on this side. So let's see if this will like catch the purple a little bit more. I've never done one of these get ready with me chit chat videos. I feel like it's so difficult for me to like talk and do eye stuff. It's just a little distracting for me. Yeah, this is the NYX Purple Violet uh, Mascara. So I zoomed in a little bit for you guys just to see this purple mascara. I love it because it's not so vibrantly purple. With the, my black lashes, it kind of just makes it look like a little light tint. You know, sometimes I like to urge people to try color. I don't know, I, I feel like a lot of people like to stick with the neutrals, but I feel like color is so much fun. I feel like it just it kind of brightens your day a little bit. A lot of people notice you a little bit more, give you a little bit more compliments, and it kind of just, it's a conversation starter. My hair is always a conversation starter. I think anything that'll like spark people's attention and get a conversation started is always a great thing because it's not negative, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna just gonna be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. I'm just gonna use this color on this side. Another thing I've been loving is this Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick Collection palette. I'm in love, 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 love. I love Bobbi Brown products. Instead of using it as a highlighter, you can also use it as kind of like an all over bronze with this middle shade bronzy color. Or with the pinks, you can use it as a blush rather, like a shimmery blush rather than just like a shimmery highlight. It's so versatile, I love it. But I'm just gonna use a little bit of the pinks and I'm going to be brushing that along my cheeks a little bit just to give it a little color. For an all over bronze, I'm just gonna take 
the MAC Give Me Sun, and I will just be, you know, wishing I was in the sun. Right now it is so rainy and cold in San Francisco. Finally, for the lips, I'm gonna be taking the Kylie Cosmetics lip kits. I'm gonna be using Exposed. Exposed is kind of more of a, a peachy undertone for me. Alright guys, this is the final look. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope it was a little bit entertaining or a little bit informational about my life. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like, comment, subscribe on this YouTube channel. I love you forever. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.